2020 be extraordinary <sighs> oh man honestly can't say that it wasn't extraordinary not in a good way though obviously I did a 2019 recap last year and I loved looking back on it so I thought I have to do one this year, especially because it's this year. Well, it started off pretty normal. I spent the new year at home and then went back to New York City hoping to thrive in my acting career this year. Spoiler alert, that didn't happen. I did get some cool gigs in the beginning of the year and saw the final products of some of my work I did last year. That was pretty cool. I spent more time with old and new friends and exploring food places in my free days. I'm definitely happy that I did that before I couldn't anymore. In February, I discovered a new addiction, I'm sure we all know by now, called TikTok, and took my second acting class. That was fun, until it became this. All of a sudden, breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more Americans into virtual lockdown. This morning, stocks in the midst of their worst week since the financial crisis. Over 50 million taking lessons online. ER doctors saying we are on the verge of a medical disaster. Suddenly, everything shut down, including my workplaces, and I decided it was best for me to leave New York City and move back home for the time being. Little did I know then it was going to be for the rest of the year. I ended up moving out of New York officially in July. Don't worry, I'll be moving back soon. Before I move on with my rest of the year, I just want to say I am extremely grateful that my family, my loved ones, and I have been healthy through this time, and I pray we continue to be. I am extremely fortunate to have my health, a roof, and an amazing support system through all this. And I want to thank all of the essential and healthcare workers who are putting their lives on the line to help the rest of us. Y'all are the true heroes. As terrifying as the idea of quarantining was for my extrovert self, I am very grateful for those months being at home. It was amazing to see what was possible when we're forced into an unexpected situation. I spent a lot of time taking free online seminars and Zoom classes on acting. I discovered hobbies I enjoyed, rediscovered hobbies I thought I disliked. I learned to sign my dance. <laughs> and like everyone else, I took on home projects and transformed our basement and watched way too much Netflix. Video chatting kept me sane. I'm thankful for all the FaceTime photo shoots, house party games, Zoom workouts, and all the random calls just to keep ourselves socially and mentally in check. Birthdays completely changed, from FaceTime calls to social distance surprises to small picnic gatherings. Honestly though, it was nice to see creative ways to celebrate each other, and it was a good break from the normal partying. This summer, I also took part in my first ever protest. It was eye-opening. I hope we all continue to educate ourselves, check our privileges, and show up for one another. This year is also the first time in a long time I felt judged being an Asian American because of all the racial discrimination towards us, and it sucks. Let's be better. On a brighter note, as the state opened up slowly, I got to finally see my friends face to face, safely of course, and it was great to finally have physical contact and human interaction. We did many outdoor activities, such as picnics, hikes, wineries. Although my two international travels were canceled, I was able to go chase waterfalls with some of my best girlfriends on a weekend trip to the Finger Lakes. <laughs> on another brighter note, In November, I got a photo shoot gig with HubSpot. It was kind of a full circle moment for me because I actually used to use that software at my old 9 to 5 job. Being on set reminded me how much I love doing this and I can't wait to get back in the hustle next year. I've had a really good holiday season, spending time with family and friends, and slowly it's starting to feel like things are going to go back to normal. This year was very tough for many people, but to be honest, I can't complain about anything in my personal life. I'm thankful that I had the time to learn more about myself, to study and hone in on my craft, 
to build and grow deeper friendships and to spend more time with my family. I am very lucky and I'm grateful. 2020 was a turning of a century and give many people hope for a new beginning, but instead, it gave us all the big middle finger. I hope 2021 will be a recovery year and give us a chance to thrive again. 2021, be nice. Ha <laughs>